Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, and today we are back with the final game of the college football season in the college football league, the stock league that I had put together. If you recall, we have a North Division, which is the Syracuse Orange Men, Boston College Eagles, the Army uh, Black Knights, the Navy Midshipmen, and Bucknell. And then in the South, you have Arkansas State, East Carolina, Maryland, Charlotte, and Louisiana Tech. And going into the last game of the year, the Syracuse Orange Men have a one-game lead on Boston College, and we play Boston College. So if we beat them, we win the North outright. If they beat us, there's going to be another game next week to determine the North champion. And in the South, Arkansas State has a one-game lead on East Carolina, but they do not play East Carolina. In fact, Arkansas State plays Charlotte, while East Carolina gets the much tougher Army. So it looks pretty bad for East Carolina, you gotta, you gotta think. But that's not the game we're concerned with. We are concerned with the Syracuse Orange Men because that's the team I'm taking through the season. So without further ado, let's get on with that game. No problems found. Play one week and uh, our game will be manual. And it is simming the other games. And no problems found. So we're ready to go. And I will turn down the sound so that you can hear me announcing the game, and then we'll launch the game. And looks like we are kicking off to Boston College. Now they're only one game worse than us. They only had two losses, so they're going to be a tough team to beat. I don't expect this to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. And hopefully you can see the scoreboard there, because I know that there's a glare from the back. But um, let's go with the 3-4. And let's go with balance for the defense. Boston College has a first and 10 at their own 25. And that's incomplete, looks like. Yep. So now it's second and 10 from the Boston College 25. I'm still gonna put in the three, four, and I'm still gonna put in uh, the balanced. And looks like either he was, he caught it and was dropped right there. In no, incomplete. So now it's third and ten from the 25. So definitely we are going to be looking for the pass. And it looks like their quarterback's on the run. And we did get him. So he's four yards short of a first down, so he'll probably punt, I would imagine. Forced him out of the pocket, and now we're going to do the punt return. I'm going to say run with the ball, and nope, we get it right there. Fair catch, so I guess it was overruled, so let's, uh, I'm going to go out of the pro set, see what, what kind of running defense these guys have. We're going to go off tackle with a halfback. Well, he only got like two yards there. Three. So now we have a 
Second down, I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. And he only gets uh, one yard. So we have a third and six now. So now I am going to go out of the, the passing formation. And we're going to do a look in pass to the split end. And he catches it one yard short of the first down, it looks like. Yes. Now that forces a decision on my part, and this is a championship game, so I am going to say we're going to go for it. We're going to go out of the pro set, and I'm going to go line buck with the quarterback. Ah, they stopped him. Unbelievable. I got stopped on a fourth and one. All right, well, we're going to put in the pass defense. And we're going to sack him. Nice. That was nice. We needed that. So I'm going to go with the pass defense again. He is passing. And we stopped him relatively quickly. He got uh, six yards, but they needed 19, so now it's a third and 13. So they have a third and 13 from our 42. Going to definitely put the pass in. And we stopped him. So this is not a very impressive Boston College offense so far. All right, uh, we're going to put in the punt return. And that is a very, looks like a potentially, you know, you know, it's a good coffin corner. I thought it was going to be a bad coffin corner. So, yeah, he nailed us pretty deep in our own end. We're, like, going to be at the nine. I'm going to go flat pass to the wide receiver. First and ten from our nine. Well, he got the first down, so we got a little breathing room. Okay, so now we have a first and 10 from the Syracuse 20. I'm going to go out of the pro set. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. Really got a nice, healthy four or five yards there. Five yards. So, second and five from the Syracuse 25 going to go out of the pro set again. We're going to go line buck with the fullback. Eh, he only got maybe a yard, maybe two. One yard. So now we have a third and four again. Okay, we are going to go out of a passing formation. Another look in pass to the flanker. And he does get the first down and a little more. So that was nice. Now we're, we're back out of our, the shadow of our end zone. Okay, so now we're, I think we're going to stay with that and we're going to go maybe short, medium to the wide receiver and see what that does. Well, nice, uh, nice little pickup there. Maybe eight yards, seven or eight yards. Seven. So now Syracuse has a second and three.
from the Syracuse 45. I'm going to go back out of the pro set now. We're going to go line buck with the full back. And he got the first down anyway. You missed it last week. The fullback had a great week. He had a couple of long gainers, which is odd for the fullbacks in these games. But anyway, let me try to. I'm gonna try to sneak in a a bomb to the wide receiver and see what that does for me. And there's a flag on the play, but hopefully it's on him. Or hopefully not. I mean, hopefully yes. 26 yard pass, so let's see who the penalty's on. I am going to decline the penalty. So, so now we have a first and 10 at the Boston College 25. I'm going to go back out of the pro set and we're going to go off tackle with a halfback. And he's going to score. Nice. I must have caught him completely off guard there. So, nice. Uh, we're going to kick the extra point. Uh, there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Okay, if I accept the penalty on the, uh, yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty on the kickoff. Although I don't even know if I really should have done that, because he's just going to take, I mean, you know, we probably would have had a touchback anyway, and now that's what we end up with. So I am going to put in the pass defense. Now we need something big. We need like a fumble recovery or a, uh, an interception. Something like that would be big right now. Okay, I'm going to put in linebacker blitz and see if we can throw him off his game. Wait, uh, but he was uh, it was a penalty on him, so... So now he has a second and eight from his own 27. I'm definitely going to put in the pass defense. And there's another penalty on the play, and let's see who that's on. Well, I'm going to accept the penalty. So we're just backing him up. Now he's got a second and 18 from the BC 20 or 17. Or eight, 18. Or no, 17. BC 17. So let's see what happens here. We stopped him. Nice. That was a nice stop after just a small gain. He's going to have like a third and 16 coming up. No, third and uh, 15. He got three yards there. All right, we're going uh, pass. And we easily stopped him, so he will be punting to us. And he's going to be punting to us from, like, the 20, so... It's not like he was... Like he got out of the shadow of, the, of his own end. And I am going to try to run with it. And that was, a, that was a great decision. That dude's getting some serious yards. Nice return. I'm already back in his end. Almost in field goal range, even. Okay. I think we're going to go back out of the pro set. We're going to eat as much time as possible. Off tackle with a halfback. We don't fumble much. And, uh, and I want to get it in, in at least assured field goal range. 
Okay, we got a second and five from the BC-31. I'm going to go back out of the pro set. And we're going to go end run half back. Let's try that, see what it gets us. And that's a nice game. He doesn't seem to either. He can't really, he's not really good at stopping the run or he just has no clue that it's coming. Um, I'm going to go out of the passing formation. We're going to go short and try to score right here. No more screwing around. And it looks like he's going to score. Touchdown. And it's a 14-0 lead for Syracuse in this very, very important game. Which will decide the, uh, will go a long way towards deciding the North title. Okay, and we will kick the extra point. And there is, of course, a penalty on the play. And it's on them. I may accept the penalty because ball on the, um, on the one. I'm going to say yes, accept the penalty. And now I'm going to go out of the pro set, and we're going to go line buck with a fullback. Ah, we're offsides. Well, now I'm just going to kick. So it is 14 nothing Syracuse. And we're kicking off again. And I assume we're going to get the ball to begin the second half, but right now we're still in the first quarter with 3.15 left in the first quarter. So Now I'm going past because now it's just about stopping him from getting big chunks of yardage. Because with a two touchdown lead, in theory, I can allow him to score as long as it's slowly and then get the ball and stay ahead, get the ball back and then stay ahead of him. Now that's in theory, don't always work that way. So we're going pass, he has a third and eight from the 27. So if we can stop him here, well, there, there was a penalty on the play. If it was on him though, I would decline it. But it probably wasn't because they let him run the play. No, it was on us. So he has a first and 10 now at the BC-42. And we did stop him before the first down, but he still got seven yards. Six yards. And we're going to go balance. I'm just going to put in, throw out the balance and see what it does. Well, it didn't do much. He got the first down for nine yard nine yard gain. I'm gonna go pass again. And we were looking for it and still couldn't stop him, and he's probably gonna go all the way for a touchdown. So he makes the score 14-7. Not so good. Or 14-7 if he makes this extra point. And he does. As the first quarter winds down, the 
They, the score is 14-7 Syracuse over Boston College. And of course, they're going to kick off again and ask me if I want to run the ball, and I will say yes. Um, if you haven't been watching, um, there's a glitch in the uh, Stratomatic College Football Computer Program that causes it to do that. So, And I don't know why, and I don't think that there is a fix for it, and there's a penalty on that. If I decline the penalty, it's Syracuse ball in the 43, first and 10. If I accept the penalty on the kickoff, Boston College kicking from Boston College 30. No, I'm going to I'm going to decline the penalty. So um, now we have a first and 10 from the Syracuse 43. I'm going to say flat pass to the wide receiver. And it's incomplete. Two guys crossing in front of each other, one in front of the other, and he missed both of them. Alright, um, we're going to go out of the pro set, and I'm going to go um, look in pass to the tight end. That's what I wanted to get. And he got the first down, looks like, just barely. He did. And now we are in the second quarter. 1427 left in the second quarter. First and 10 for Syracuse at the BC 47. Um, I'm going to go back out of the pro set. We got to keep this guy guessing and keep him off balance. Plus, I doubt he's very good at the run. I mean, I just think that that's probably a weakness of this Boston College defense. Okay, so now we have a second and three from the BC 40. And I am definitely, it gave me the pro set, and I'm going to go line buck with the halfback. And he got the first down barely. Now we've got, we're going to put in the, uh, yeah, we're going to put in pass defense. We're going to go flat to the halfback. He catches it, and he's got some room, and he gets 11 yards. Okay, I'm going to go back to the pro set. All about eating the clock here. Off tackle with the halfback. And it looks like he maybe got a yard. Yep. I'm going to go back to the pro set. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. He shouldn't be looking for it. And if he's bad, well, no, he nailed me. In the backfield, probably a lot. No, zero yards. So, now we've got a third and nine from the BC 25. And now I really, I do have to open it up. I'm going to go short medium pass to the split end. And he comes in and sacks me. And now, I even really a field goal from here is questionable. At least I think so. But I am going to do that because that's really the only option I've got. Field goal. And it's not going to be good. I didn't think it would be, but my other option was to go for a fourth and 15, and that wasn't going to happen either. So, All right, he's got the ball. First and 10, it is 31. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And that is complete. And he's got uh, 
second down. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess run. See what happens. Oh, uh, we're offsides anyway. I mean, he did run. It looks like, but we were offsides. So he's got a first and ten at the BC forty-two. I'm gonna go pass again. And uh, there's a penalty again. Hopefully it's on him. Yeah, well, that's a no-brainer. Accept it. So now he has a first and 20 at his own 32. And I'm going to look past. And now we're offsides. All these penalties, that's one of, that's really the Achilles heel of the Syracuse team that makes a lot of penalties. Alright, so he's got a first and 15 at the BC 37, and I am going to go guess pass again. And we do stop him just short of the first down, but he's got now a second in like three or four. And I'm, you know what, I'm going to go, uh, let's see, game, autoplay, um, no, I guess... I guess the only thing to do was this, was a certain amount of time left in the game. I don't really want to do that. So um, we're going to put in the pass defense. And we do stop him. So now he's got a third and probably two. No, zero yards. He's got a third and three now coming up. Um... I'm, I'm still going to go with the pass. And we guessed it, but, or no, actually it looked like maybe he did like a run. Yeah. Off tackle run. So we're going to guess pass. And he, we guess pass, and he got a lot of yards out of it. We're going to guess pass. And we guess pass, and we... Couldn't stop him before he got down to the six, five or six. 13 yard gain. So he's on the brink of tying the game up. And we're gonna guess run. I guess we're gonna guess run, yeah. And we did stop him right at the two. But it looks like he's gonna get in unless he keeps running. Cause I'm gonna guess run down here. We're going to go 4-3, and I'm going to guess run. And it's incomplete. So now he's got a third and goal at the Syracuse 2. And I am going to guess run again. I'm going to all out to try to stop the run, and if he can pass it into the end zone, more power to him. And he can. So, with this successful kick, they will tie the game. And they do. So, we're going to receive the kickoff from them. There's 6.18 left in the half, so we have some time. Uh, 
That time he actually asked me on the kickoff. Uh, I'm going to say fair catch. Oh no, he is going to do it again. Oh no, no he's not. All right, so I'm going to do end run with the halfback. Something that they're not looking for. Probably, and they probably weren't. We got five yards out of that. Um, I'm going to go end run. No, I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. We have a second and five from 30, and he's off sides, I think. So now we have a first and 10 from Syracuse 35. I'm going to go out of the pro set, and we're going to go and run with a halfback. And he got a nice run out of that. six yards so it seems clear they're not going to guess run down here so we have a second and four from the Syracuse 41 I'm going to go pro set and run half back again ah they got him and it was probably a loss too no zero yards Okay, third and four. Uh, third and four, yeah, we're going to put in a pass. We're going to do a flat pass. No, a look. No, a flat pass to the split end. And he does get the first down. And we are in Boston College territory. And I am going to go out of the pro set, and we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. As the time winds down, he's going to be less and less likely to guess run, and that plays to my advantage. Because I have good running backs, and I don't think his run defense is all that great in the first place. But we do have a second and eight now, so um, I'm still going to... There's 420 left. I'm going to go pro set, and I'm going to go end run. I can't see him guessing run right here but he still got him after like three or four yards yeah three so so we have a third and five from the BC 42 so now it is time to put in a pass again gonna go flat pass to the wide receiver That's going to be incomplete. All right, third and five from the 42. I am going. I'm going to go for it. I mean, uh, you know, I. What? He didn't even give me that chance. All right. Um, it went too quickly to the play selection. All right, he's got 326 left. We really need to stop him here, even though we'll get the ball to open the second half because um, because we don't want to have to come from behind, really. Well, we got him, but he got a pretty sizable gain. I think when we, after we take the kickoff, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to skip ahead to the beginning of the fourth quarter. Fifteen minutes left in the game, but anyway. Um, for right now, we're going to put in the pass. And that was a penalty on somebody, and we got him inbounds. He got six yards. 
I'm going to accept the penalty because as far as we can back him up, the better. And the computer does this. I don't know why he does this. And he'll even do it with my own guys. This makes everybody run immediately out of bounds as time runs down. And you wouldn't necessarily want to do that. It depends on the situation. But anyway, we're going to go put in the pass. We do stop him. But he got quite a few yards, 17 yards on that. You know what, I'm going to go linebacker blitz, see what happens. Not anything probably good, except it's incomplete. stop him. So now he's going to have uh, and he get five yards there. So he's going to have a third and five coming up. Got a third and five to Syracuse 32. I'm going to put in the pass. And he does make it, but we got him in bounds. He's probably not quite in field goal range yet. But there is a minute 15 left, so he has a little bit more time. At least to try to get into field goal range. Gonna guess pass. And he does get the first down. Eleven yards. We're going to guess pass. He caught it, and we stopped him at the one. And he still has a minute, so he has time to score the touchdown easy. Uh, I mean, less than a minute now, but still probably plenty of time to run another play. And I am going to put in the run. And we do stop him again. That was a first and goal. Now he's got a second and goal. I am going to put in the... Uh, I'm going to put in the... Uh, let's see... The 4-3. And the run. And he does throw a touchdown back. Put in kick block. Doesn't work. So Boston College takes a 21-14 lead here. And they're going to kick off. See, I want to run with the ball on the second kickoff, the second real kickoff. 22 seconds left, so I'm just going to run the ball and get the ball back in the second, at the beginning of the second half. And then we're, well, no, you know what? Maybe I will launch it and see if we can come up with something big. Let's go long to the wide wide receiver and see what happens. There's only 15 seconds left, though. Uh, 
we're going to do the same thing again along, this time the split end. And he does not catch it, it's incomplete looks like. Yep. And so we will do it again with one second left and now really it's got to go all the way to the end zone. And Dungey's on the run. He's not going to outrun everybody. He got a first down, and that's nice, but there was only a second left, so. Yep, that's the end of the half. And Army did beat East Carolina, as expected, so... It looks like uh, um, Arkansas State did win the South. So here's the fake kickoff. And I will say I want to run with the ball. Probably should not have done that, but let's see what happens. We only get to the 20th. Alright, so now, as I said, I'm going to skip ahead to the fourth quarter. So we're going to go game, autoplay, with 15 minutes left in the game. And they are kicking our ass. Well, not really kicking our ass. It's 28-21. But um, we're going to put in the pass. It's the start of the fourth quarter or near the start of the fourth quarter. 14-27 left. Going to put in the pass. And we looks like we got it. No, they got it back. They fumbled it, but they got it back. With the first 10 from their 42. We're going to put in the pass. And we do stop them. We stopped them really big time there. Maybe a loss. Zero yards. So they're going to have a third and five. And we're going to put in the pass. 13.36 left, and we stopped them. It was either incomplete or we stopped him just short of the first down. Yeah, he got four yards, so he'll probably punt to us. Punt return. He's probably going to do the coffin corner. Yeah, he did. Not the greatest. We get it at the 21. I'm going to go short, medium pass to the split end. And that's incomplete. 12.36 left. Time is running out. And, we, and we're down by a touchdown. So we got to have something. And that was incomplete again. I don't know. Now we got a third down. Tough call here, because if you do a flat or look-in pass, you might get five or six, but then you're going to have a fourth and four. But I am going to do that. I'm going to do a flat pass to the split end. And he gets, well, he gets seven. I am going to go for it though. Third and three, or fourth and three. Fourth and three from the Syracuse 28. I am going for it. I'm going to go out of the pro set. Going to go flat pass, tight end.
And he catches it, or whoever it was that he threw to caught it. And we got the first down. I mean, you got to take some gambles here. I'm going to go back out of the pro set now. And we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. And that time he got nailed. Okay, uh, we're going to go flat passes again. We've got to go back to that. Because that's the only passes, I guess, the dungeon can complete. You can't complete shorts and longs. And you got to try those early enough that you still have a chance to get the first down by only getting a handful of yards. So we are going to go looking pass to the split end. And he gets the first down and a little more, so that's nice. And we're continuing to eat the clock, which is also very nice. Um, I'm going to go end run with the halfback. See if they know if they catch on to this. And they did, but uh, he only, but he still got six yards, which is not too bad. Um, yeah, pro set. Second and four from the BC-39. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go end run halfback. And he gets the first down. That's all we really need. I mean, there's, you know, just, just a smidge over nine minutes when that play began. And so now, yeah, we have 8.32 left. Um, going to go pro set, and I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback and that time he gets stopped after maybe a yard zero yards got stopped at the line of scrimmage so yeah we're gonna go back to the flat pass seems to work well but you have to again you have to do it early enough that you can get two or three of them and he does it looks like he catches it Yep, six yards. So uh, we have a third and four at the BC 28, and I'm going to do the flat pass to the wide receiver. And that's complete, and he gets some nice yards on it too. So now we're getting down to the point where we can't really do the flat pass, I think, inside the 20, in fact. I'm not sure what it is, what the rule is in Stratomatic, but I think it's, once you get down here really close, you can't do that anymore. So we're going to go end run, half back, see if we can catch him off guard. And he is off sides, so that's going to be good for us. Oh no. Oh, wait. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to go draw a play with the fullback on first and five. And he was obviously not prepared for that, and he got four yards. So now we got a second and one. I'm going to go pro set. We're going to go line buck halfback. No, let's go line buck fullback. And he's going to get it down to the one-yard line. I like how we're eating the clock here, but still, it's going to leave him a lot of time to try to get a winning touchdown or field goal, or a go-ahead touchdown or field goal. But we're going to go line buck fullback. Really, I kind of want him to stop me, but he didn't. So now it is 28-20. I mean, I wanted him to stop me there so that we could still eat a little bit more time.
but the game is, is tied if we make this field goal, so we will go extra point. And it's good. So it's 28 all. Now we need some, this is where we need something. We need a, uh, a flub on the kickoff. We need um, him to fumble the ball running it when he gets, the, when he starts to run plays or throw an interception. We've got to have something like that happen. Well, we have to also stop him on the kickoff return, which he got a great one. I'm going to go pass. And that's incomplete. So it's second and 10 from the 40 from the BC 43. I'm going to go pass again. And we stopped him before he got the first down. Oh, he did pick up five, uh, six yards there. So now he's got a third and four, and we're definitely got a guess pass and hope we stop him. We stop him here, I like our chances, but we didn't. Time is winding down, though. And he got six yards on that play. So there's 338 left, 28, 28. He's got a first and 10 from the Syracuse 45. I'm going to guess pass. And we managed to stop the run play, but not until he got about seven yards. Um, we're going to guess pass. And that's what he's doing. And maybe we can intercept it? No. But he does have a third and three now because that was an incomplete pass. Um, you know what? I got to go balanced here. I'll put in the uh, nickel, but we got to go balanced. And we did not stop him. And now he's in field goal range. So now it's it's now we're in trouble. Because there's 246 left and he could kick a field goal right now. And even if he did that, even if he immediately kicked a field goal, we would have a problem. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go run because he really should be running the ball now. And we stopped him after he got four yards. I am going to guess run again, and the computer suggested a run. And we stop him, but he gets the first down. Well, really, we should be letting him, you know. I mean, we kind of have to let him score if we could. Got to use our third timeout. And uh, I'm going to put in the pass. We need something. We need a turnover is really what we need. Okay, so I'm going to put in the pass. And we stop him. So now it's third and goal. Third and goal, you really kind of have to put in the pass. Third and goal from, it's going to be like the two, no the three. You still got to put in the pass. And he makes it anyway. So now we don't have a lot of time. We got a minute, less than a minute 15. And we really have to try to stop this extra point. And we didn't. So with a minute left, less than a minute left, it's not good. I don't think we can, I mean, we really can't seem to score. 
Um, we can't really seem to get long passes. It doesn't work for us. So this has to be a really great return. And this is, of course, the fake return. So I'm going to say run with the ball because we really need to get a huge return. we got to hope for something big here. And we don't get something all that big. We're at the 30. Okay, we're going to go short, medium. I mean, I, I've got to try something that's doable. And, and that's incomplete. So that was a lot of time wasted just to get nothing. Uh, 45 seconds left. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, we've got to really go long. Um, the odds aren't very good, and that's probably a completed pass, which is bad because that's going to eat up pretty much almost the rest of the time. Yeah, the hurry up. You ain't joking. Uh, long to the split end. 22 seconds left. Now he's out on the run. Gonna get the first down, but that's still not good enough. And that probably ate the rest of the time, would you think? Even in the hurry up? Uh, no, apparently, maybe not. So now we gotta go long to the flanker. One second left, so yeah, this is the last play. It's either a touchdown or we lose, and we do. We lose, and there is going to be a, this, another deciding game next week against Boston College to see who wins that division. Okay, so let's get out of that. And I think we know that Arkansas State did yes. So Arkansas State won the, the South. And we're tied with Boston College for the North lead, and so that is going to force another game next week. So stay tuned for that game. It's going to be very exciting, I hope, and it, that we win it. Or even not exciting, and we win it easy. But for right now, it's Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.